Hi, welcome to the Craft Channel. I'm Corinne Brad, and I want to show you today how to make these little pyramid gift boxes out of beautiful cards and ribbon, and they're very simple to make and very simple to open once you've managed to undo the bow. They are simply held together. God, I've tied this tight. with ribbon through holes at the top so that you can just easily open it up, place your gift inside. And actually you could just tie a knot, you could tie it in a loop, hang it from your Christmas tree, Easter tree, any time of year gift. Let's just neaten that up and I'll show you exactly how to make it. And if you check the description below the video, we'll have a link so that you can have the template. This is a very simple petal shaped template. Quite simply, if you draw around your template onto a piece of card, now this is a piece of metallic card that I'm using here, and also I'm just going to make little marks in the centre of the top of each petal so I know where to punch my holes. What you then need to do is you need to use a ball-ended tool and a ruler to score from the base of each petal. And I'm doing this before I cut the shape out just because you know, you've got a bit more integrity to the sheet of card that you're working with. It's a lot easier to handle. You know, There's more to stay flat so there's less likelihood of your slipping as you're scoring. Especially if you use metallic card, if you um, do make a score or a cut in the wrong place, it's very difficult to disguise it afterwards. So this will be the base of your box. And then if you go from the point to the petal and score a line, just like this. And then again with the other side of each petal. Like so. And then cut out your shape. And use a nice Big pair of sharp scissors. I don't know about you, I'm one of these people that can cut really easily in one direction but not necessarily in the other. And especially when you get to a tight point like that, trying to turn the blade and uh, cut back up from that point without wrecking the piece of card that you're working on. It isn't that easy. So if you just cut all of the uh, easy petals in one direction, And then you can go back this way. So you're always cutting from the outside in and then that way you don't risk scratching the metallic card with the underside of your scissors while you're trying to turn that corner. Okay, bear with me. I've only got one more to go. Like so. So you've got your flower shape and you can see your score lines. Now what I did earlier actually, and I uh, did it on the wrong side completely, was I marked where these punch holes need to be. What I really need to do is I need to mark these punch holes on the outside. of my flower shape and just a simple pencil mark is adequate. Fold your card up on your score lines 
and where you've folded those tips in, if you then get your hole punch, actually I'm going to do a nice big hole on this because if I try and thread this ribbon through I've just realised I haven't bought any tape with me to help, so the larger the hole the easier it's going to be. And you need to make sure that you punch through all of these folded bits because otherwise they will obstruct the path of your ribbon when you're trying to tie your box up as I learned to my cost when I couldn't thread my box up again so just punch like so and then you can just unfold them quickly while you fold along your base lines and then if you want to decorate the outside of your box like I have done with this one with washi tape you're best doing it on the flat and if you take your tape and cut it to the edges of your flower, um, which means that when you then fold the box up, you won't get any loose edges, because these bits will be inside, you won't get any loose bits of washi tape coming free. Um, let's just do this fourth corner here. Like so. Fold these edges in. Like this. And then it makes your pyramid box. And I'm now going to attempt to thread this ribbon. Oh. Um, and an easy way to, to make almost like a needle for a ribbon is if you cut yourself a piece of tape, fold your ribbon like this and wrap this tape around the ribbon so it looks like, um, like the end of a shoelace. And in fact, I have repaired shoelaces with this method in clear tape. You can also do it with like a, a strong PVA, but you do need to let it dry. So you just need to make something that's rigid so that you can thread the end of your ribbon. Oh being all fingers and thumbs, in and out of one side and then round the corner and um, in and out of the other side. Make sure all your side pieces are pulled in. Tie in a nice tight bow. And then don't forget to cut your lacing end off. And there you have it. Oh, a really simple gift box. And I mean, they're big, lovely, you know, wedding table decorations. Very simple to make. Check the description below, as I say, to get hold of the template so you can make your own. And we'll see you next time. If you've been inspired to create, please share your makes with us in the comments section below. And if you've enjoyed, videos by the Crafts Channel, hit the like button. Want to see more of us? Then click subscribe. See you next time.